Hi, so this is a 2010 favorites video and I've been requested to do a December favorites but I thought I'd just go ahead and do a New Year's favorites. So yeah, and this is like all the stuff I've been loving this year from like, like you're going to see this is a lot of stuff so we better get started. So, because I only have like a half battery but I don't want to rush it. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with um, scents, actually. So, you guys know I love this Sweet Pea scent. And this isn't really a um, 2010 favorite. It's actually a um, like lifetime favorite. I've been loving it my whole life. Like, it was the first scent I ever got there, and... I've just been, like, the first one I ever smelled, and I've just been loving it. And you see, I, I've i been having it so long, I still have the old bottle. I mean, I only have a little bit left, but that's only because I was savoring it. Now that I have more, I'm going to be using, like, more of it. But, yeah. So, that's what the old bottle looks like, because I saw a lot of that, and I love it, so... Next scent, which actually is a 2010 scent. Those, like, my lifetime stuff, so. Is this one. The Love Kills Slowly by Ed Hardy. And I know Glamourista16 also loves this perfume, so. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's really good. And I know I hate when people do this. They, like, smell their the stuff, but I mean, I don't know, I like, I really like perfume, like, I've been getting, really getting into perfume this year, this is a good one to start out with, like, it doesn't smell like the average scent, you, like, it smells like something new is to it, but yeah, another good one is this by True Religion, I have no idea what it's called though, but I just got this little sample, and I actually have two little samples like this, and I, <laughs> again, I'm doing it, but yeah, this one is another really good one, it spray it on me, yeah, it's good, so next time go to True Religion or um, Macy's, they should have this at Macy's too, they have everything at Macy's, ooh, it smells good in here now, alright, <laughs> Um, that's it for scents. I feel like I kind of rushed through that. Alright. Next, we're going on to, like, makeup. So, this isn't really a makeup, but this is life. <laughs> I love... Am I too close? I feel like... <laughs> and then when I rewatch I'm going to be like, wow, I was really far. Why did I say... Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I love chapstick this is another lifetime favorite I think I already said that but it's amazing like when it's cold outside and you put this on your lips you like feel the tingling it's chapstick medicated oh and you just feel it like tingling in your lips and, like it's not really a burning but like oh, like when your lips are dry it really gives you like that moisture and medication that you need Um, this isn't actually, when I'm done with this, I'm probably not going to use it again. So it's not really like a 2010 favorite, but it's what I used in 2010, which if you guys watch my videos, you will see, um, Elf Black Eyeliner, Brightening Eyeliner in Black. <laughs> um, and it's not a retractable or anything. And it was only a dollar, and it's smudges, I don't know, like, when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to try out something else, but yeah, <laughs> it was only a dollar, so, I mean, you can't really ask for much, so, this definitely isn't kind of like a daytime thing, this is like, if you're going at night, for like, out to dinner, so, I'm the type of person that you try something, and you use it up, and then you go buy something else, because I'm not going to buy, like, all these different kind of eyeliners, and try them out, only one at a time for me. And I don't know 
where my mascara went. Oh, here it is. All right, now we're moving on to mascara. This is also, like, it's not my favorite kind. It's just what I used in 2010 is the, that we were <laughs> just putting it there. Um, it's Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara Double Volume, and it's really old. And I'm, like, almost done with it. Like, there's really not that many much less. So next time I go to Target, I'm probably going to try out, like, um, CoverGirl mascara, because I've heard, like, really good things about those mascaras. So I'm definitely going to try those out. Okay. Lip gloss. This is by e.l.f. And I got it not even a month ago, and it's, like, halfway gone. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it right now, and oh, this is amazing. It's really good for, like, a neutral look, and oh, I really love it. Just... Okay, sorry. Wow, that was weird, me just sitting there. But, yeah. I like hurt something outside. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's go on with the video. So yeah, this stuff is amazing. It's it's in the color Pink Kiss. It was again a dollar from Elf. And that's why I like their products so much. Because I'm not going to spend like... Like... Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that's that. You got that. It's... Oh, I keep dropping it. It's not slippery, I promise. I'm just... I drop a lot, so it's super glossy lip shine, SPF 15, awesome, yeah, was that right set up, yes it was, okay, <laughs> now, oh, okay, on to eyeshadows, this one, hold on, alright, Clinique High Impact Eyeshadow, here, I'll show you the back first. I'm foxy. And it's dark, but it lasts all day. Like, it lasts a long time. Now, this one, I like the color. Like, that one, it's dark. And if you don't want it dark, like, you want daytime color. Sorry, it's really messy. Oh, it's really messy. Because it's old, but, um, yeah. And I like to use, I like to mix that dark one with, like, that or something. And it comes out, like, a really nice color, but it does not last all day. I don't think. Which is weird, because they're both Clinique. Look how dirty that is. I don't know how that happened. Like, I guess my makeup bag did that. Or, I don't know. But yeah, I've hit pan on all of them, so that's a good one to try out. I really like those colors. Very neutral. I'm really into, like, neutral looks, so I think that they look best on me. And, of course, you guys know I've been loving my Saks Fifth Avenue um, eyeshadow lip gloss blush, brow powder, and concealer. Um, oh, what's it called? It's not, it says it's a portfolio. But, what do I want to say? What's the thing? It's like, with a bunch of different colors. Palette. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's it's a big palette for those. And I don't want to take it out right now because then I'll be fussing around and I don't want to make this any longer than it really needs to be. But yeah, you see in my previous videos, in my holiday video, my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, yeah, it's all in there. Um, then this, we're going on to nail polishes now. So this is a Rimmel London Lasting Finish Pro. And, sorry, I keep, like, just plopping it down there. In the color 430 Black Satin. You can see that. I can't really go any lower. Whoa, I just moved it. Hi. Okay. And it's really cute and, uh, cute. It's black nail polish. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think it's really cute. The top, and I'm wearing it right now, but it's all chipped. 
and it does kind of chip fast. But I do love it when it, like the first day you put it on. And I, this is Thursday, today's Thursday, and I put it on on Saturday. So obviously it's going to chip, especially me doing it myself. But if you went to the nail salon and they did this to me, then it lasts longer. Because I don't like pre soak my nails or do any nourishing stuff. So um, my nails chip fast. Like, like even when I get a manicure, they chip fast. One of the reasons why I love this is because it glides on so smoothly. Like, it's a square brush instead of, like, a circle one. There we are. See that? Yeah. So, it, like, covers, like, the whole nail in just, like, one stroke, and it's all smooth. So, you don't have to do, like, the middle, then the side, then the side. Ooh, it smells like nail polish in here. Let me get some more of that. Sweet pea. Ooh, it's good stuff. All right. <laughs> So, that wasn't a cough. That was like a mini little laugh cough. So, yeah. This is good. I'm definitely going to try some more Rimmel London stuff. Because <clears throat> I'm not into buying expensive stuff. I don't have a job. I'm not sponsored. So, this is stuff on my salary with like a Target gift card. Um, so, this is probably all under like... This is probably under $5. And this is... A French manicure, hard as nails, Sally Hansen. And this is really nice. It's in 3412. And I thought it was going to be too light. But actually, it was my sister. She didn't want the light one because it was a gift for her. And she ended up going to the. going to Walgreens? No, Walmart. That's where they have it, Walmart. And getting a one a bit darker so they do have it in different shades for like all different skin types this is going to be a really long video I'm sorry it's going to be like 20 minutes not bad sorry and it comes with a UV top coat actually I should have and a white French white tip yeah and also this is what makes it kind of Oh, and this was only, like, $5 at Walmart, which is, like, really cheap for, like, Sally Hansen, because I looked today, and their single ones are $5, so you're getting, like, a really good deal. And you do that. Instructions, adhesive. Okay. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I have no idea how long this video is so far. Let me go check.